Hello and welcome to episode 23 of my Two Worlds 2 tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on starting the quest Lost Head, which is from Bayan, Arthur the Gravedigger. Um, before that though, in the last episode I was doing the Black Candles, I was Link hanging around here because I thought it was someone that needed to spawn but it's actually this basket here on the ground so if you highlight it, it can be tricky and that might have been why I missed it because it is easy to miss stuff when you're recording but if we go to this basket here, look at that magnifying glass, opens the basket now we find the black candles there they are come out of there there you go, collect the reward from the librarian's chest. Reputation with the Necromancer's Guild increased. Cool. Right, so let's go do that hand in. Um, if we look at the map, the lost head to start that is right there. So I can use the teleport. So first of all, though, I'm going to go back to the Major's Guild, do the, get the reward for doing the quest black candles so let's go up this road what's that? oh that might be handy for running yeah be very handy for running Ah, oh, let's just check the map. I always seem to go the wrong way, yeah, which I was. Down this way. So this is where you start the lost head. I'll be coming back here, so I'm going to place a personal teleport here. Use that now to get to the Queen's Crossroads. Go up to the Major's Guild. Oh, and I, sh I love that experience you get from the quest. Should level soon. Oh, cool. Everything must go. After over 10 years of faithful service. Right, so the chest is in this room. There it is. Oops. Nice, some money. Beaver's Butcher's Hat. Uh, wow, willpower. Plus 20%. Oh, very nice. Oh, required necromancy level 3. Right, okay, guess who's going to now be having to do that skill? Right, grab that stuff. Grab that loot. Uh, let's check the board. No, nothing on there yet. Right, so now time to do the lost head. I'm not sure who sent it, but some. Oh yeah, he just says about that. Right, let's. While I'm here, let's sell a few of these bits. I've got. Oh, wrong way. See if there's any more fire cards. Not that I can use them yet till I gain a level. Put more points in. Um, let's see, so mind you I can break that stuff down. Let's just see what he's got to sell. Yeah, no fire gems. Uh could sell this I guess. Sell that. That's got two slots. Two slots. I think I'm on two slots, yeah. So I can sell all of this. Um, is there a bow? I can sell the bows. Need the bows.
the money drops down like that, but you know what, I'm not that, I'm at a stage now where I've got plenty of money, so I'm not too concerned, although I can sell the rest at the other trade up. Let's have a look, what have you got? Strength and endurance, not exactly what I want. No fire spell, never mind. Area effect. Now I will need one of them in order to make my fire bolt an area effect um, air effect. So do I have an area effect? No, I don't. So I'm going to buy that. So then what I can do is upgrade my fire bolt spell. Once I've learnt the skills in order to uh, make the spell more powerful, which I'll get to. The uh, main thing is now I've now I've got the area effect side of it. Right, okay, nothing else in there. Anything else that I should sell? Let's see if I can break. Th oh yeah, I was going to sell the bows. Don't need them because they only give me wood. The rest of this, if I break down, I should get iron. Yeah. Well, that's for heavy armor. Oh, that gives me slightly better yeah I think I want to do them but I'm going to need to upgrade them about these ones what are they yeah no that's better the seven break these down break all the arrows down for sure Turn off the fan. Sorry, I forgot that I had that going. It's just so hot at the moment. <clears throat> right, okay. So what about this? Break that down. Oh, not craft. I said break it down. Get me lots of iron. That's good. Right, that's enough for now. Uh, let's go and continue with this quest, The Lost Head. I like to show a little of what I've been doing though off camera, as in <clears throat> dismantling items and upgrading items. I like to show a little of that. Otherwise you wonder, oh, what's happened to me? What, why have I suddenly got a bit more powerful? What did I do? So I like to show them details. Right, the lost head, we'll get the teleport. Because we need to go to near the south gate. Oh, I've got my personal teleport. Cool. Let's pick that up. And I'm going to leave it here for now, actually, because I think I'm going to need to come back here. Mind you, having said that, the other teleport's right near here, so it's a bit of a waste. Oh, I'll keep it here for now, I can always come back and collect it. Right, so the lost head. If we take a quick look at that quest, what it says. Oh, it's Bayon quest. There it is. So, yeah, loosen the Gravedigger. 
Let's save it. I think he's going to talk. Come bearing a gift. But, but from who? Lucem, the grave digger. What? Really? My apologies. You sound awfully enthusiastic. Why wouldn't I be? Here, you deserve this more than you know. Apparently. But where is his body? It's... Oh. Oh? I have a bit of a problem. I received a couple of bodies yesterday. Great robbers. Digging where they didn't belong. Their families didn't tell me how they died, but they didn't have to. Before I could begin the embalming process, they jumped right off the table. Walking dead? Here? Not the first time. There are many treasures to be found in these lands. One only need know where to look. However, digging in the wrong place, some of them are cursed. Normally I wouldn't ask. But I'm not exactly fit for battle. If you could get rid of my problem... Sounds easy enough. Right, so clear Gazam's embalming room. Right, time to save again. Yeah, you get jumped in there, I think, by lots of robbers. Or mummies or something, or other that. You don't have much room. Ah, oh, there you go. It's only because I was strong. If I wasn't this strong with my spells, these three would have killed me, because they're quite tough. Look at that. We can do a bit of looting. How nice. The chest. Improved. Right, so, Tiki, switch weapon set. To my club. Do a quick save, and then we're good to go. E Ooh. Oh no, that's no good. We'll take it though. Break it down, dismantle it. Get components to upgrade the rest of my armor. Right, I'm really hoping I get some experience for handling this, doing this quest. Thank you for handling that. Here, your payment, plus a little something extra. Gazin, the body. Where is it? Ship to Hatmandor. Didn't I tell you this? I had to do something. Necromancers working under the Emperor's orders are not the most pleasant company. They can cross any gate at any time, and they still need the head. Without it, the merchants refuse to aid Lucen's people. So, instead of telling me this, you asked me to clean your basement? I had to work. I apologize. Apologize to them. I'm taking the head with me to Hatmandor. Good luck, then. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Take the head to Hatman door. Mm, didn't give me any experience, but it's given me money. Ooh, I'll come back and loot these. Right, so Hatman door is where this quest is now leading us. So if I look at the quest log for it. Just got word from Gazam that the necromancers are demanding the merchant delegate's body immediately. So he bundled it up and shipped it off to Hatmandor. Before anyone opens that package, I need to deliver them the head. You know if you double click on a uh, quest in the log, it takes you then to the map. So Hatmandor, here we go, and the lost head. So time to go to Hatmandor. Uh, which is good because outside the gates is another board for hand for doing quests. Right, I may as well pick my personal teleport up and then I'm going to need to find a teleport up here. Yeah, definitely. So then I have to keep running up there. Right, okay. Let's pick my pick up my personal teleport. Uh, 
and then use the teleport over here. Oh no, I can't because I haven't unlocked any teleports yet. Alright, good old fashioned way. Let's run up there. So there's actually two towns up here, Hatmandor and I can't remember the name of the other one, but you'll see there's two different towns. Loads of quests, which is cool because as you've noticed, that's the best way for getting experience. Right, let's check the map. So, Salah, that's what this town is. I need to go to the path to the right, which is this one. Oh, better switch back to my staff. Right, now I know there's a teleport up here somewhere. Oh, more farm. Check the map. Yeah, so I'm going to need to get by these farm. Earth Star. Nice. Oops. <laughs> oh yeah, skill point. Nice. Definitely need that. I need all the help I can get. Oh, I need all the help I can get. Always lovely seeing them skill points. Ooh. There we go. Last time I was able to loot that one. Notice the damage. You didn't hardly harm me. Shows you the little increases you do with the armor makes a huge difference. Oh, and there's a chest. Oh, lovely. Improved. Right, switch weapon set and save. Some chests can be a real pain, but you just don't know what loot's in there. So I gladly endure trying to get these chests open. Sometimes it's like a little mini game in itself. You could almost think that it's not possible, but it is. You just have to get the swing just right. Just so. a lot of lovely loot. Oh, another chest. Basic. We can do basic. Oh, that's nice. Um, oh no, but I'm losing a lot of my bludgeoning protection. 
I'll just take it. I'll deal with that off camera when I'm not recording. Right, let's look at the map. <clears throat> It's through this gate, so I didn't really need to come through here. What on earth am I playing at? Oh, look at that tower. Uh, right, so I didn't need to come through there. I need to go this way. Or was this? Oh, I got, must have got turned around. Here we go. Right, now there should hopefully be a teleport around here somewhere. <clears throat> I can't remember exactly where, so let's... This hat man door. Let's see if I can find this teleport. Here's Sala over here. Oh, Chesnodar. Oh, Salah must have been someone, an NPC to talk to. This is Chesnadar. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to have to search for the teleport off camera. Uh, I'll show where it is in the next episode. For now, though, I'm going to access this quest board. Just here. Oh, is there nothing on there yet? Okay, must be too soon for that. Let's save it. Where do you think you're going, scum? <laughs> I apologize. Is there some kind of problem here? Hatman door is closed to outsiders. Executive orders from Commander Valerian himself. I don't have time for this. I don't so much care what your schedule looks like. Look, the commander is the only person with the authority to grant you access, so I suggest you speak with him. Where can I find him? Just southwest of here, the inn, in, at the inn, in, in Chesnadar. He's working on an important murder case. Murder? Look at you, you little nosy bastard. <laughs> yeah, murder. It's when someone gets killed. Yesterday was the third. Now get out of my sight before I arrest you for disturbing the peace. <laughs> now that was funny. So I've got to speak with Commander Valorin in order to do this quest because it's locked to me at the moment. So off to Chesnadar. Oh right, there's a teleport within Hatman Door, and I believe there's a teleport within Chesnador, actually within the town. So there we go. Here's the Chesnadar teleport. Right, cool, got it. Um, that's near enough to Hatman Dawn until I can get in there. Right, now the guy I've got to talk to, the captain, let's do a quick save in case I mess things up, is over here. Here he is, Garp Valerin. This better be good. I'm looking for someone, a guard named Valerin. Commander Valerin, city guard. Sorry, Commander. I've come a long way to handle some family business in Hatman Dawn, but I was told to leave. I was hoping I might convince you to make an exception. It makes my investigation easier knowing everyone is in one place. You say you're new in town. If I had to guess, I'd say you were a merc. Retired, mostly. Hmm, maybe we can work something out. On a quieter day, I might have run you out of town. But most people looking for trouble don't bother coming to introduce themselves. The guards told me you're dealing with a murder. Three of them, all within the last two weeks. I managed to link it to a local criminal ring, but haven't been able to make anything stick. Hatman Door's a big place. The people here know my guards too well. We have an informant, someone within their ranks. Had a meeting a few nights back. Except he never showed. Maybe the kid got scared. Maybe worse. But I can't afford to go looking for him without someone getting suspicious. I won't take that risk. Where should I start looking? <clears throat> I've got to do him a favour in order to get into Hatman. Where should I start looking? His name is Jared. Lives on the east end of Chesnodar. I suggest you start there. 
And when I find him? Schedule another meeting. Same place. If he's still alive, that is. Come back when you're finished and we'll talk. Um, anything you can tell me about the anything murders? Anything you can tell me about the murders? All three happened under unusual circumstances. One body was found in front of the victim's house, fell from the second floor. Most would say he deserved it, went by the name Gnarl. Used to brag about assaulting Imperial Verita transports. <laughs> Not the brightest. The second, Ranvel, was suspected of fencing illegal goods. Found him floating in an oil barrel when we raided his storehouse. Now here's the kicker. Old the beard. I know. Found dead while hosting a party in his own home. Fifty guests. No witnesses. Normally I'd say someone was doing me a favor. Had warrants for all of them. But murder is murder. It's only a matter of time before this turns into a much bigger problem for me. You understand? One of the locals mentioned an abandoned tower somewhere near town. Know anything about that? One of the locals mentioned an abandoned tower somewhere near town. Know anything about it? I thought you said you were here on family business. I'm sorry. Someone told me it was used by the Emperor. I... Listen, I think I've been pretty accommodating since you got here. I want to keep it that way. So I'll say this once. Stay away from that tower. You act like it's cursed. Could be. Let's just say that most people aren't lucky enough to get a warning. But if it'll keep you alive long enough to help me out, and if I decide to let you into my city, speak with Basil at the local inn. He's been telling the story so long, most assume he's just trying to scare off any tourists that won't tip. I should get started. Good. Find me when you're done. Okay, speak to my co uh, Commander Valorin's informant, and <clears throat> I can't remember whether I'm allowed into Hatman Door now, or whether I need to actually me. complete this quest for him. So let's have a little look. It's only just over here, not far at all. Yeah, no, I need, to, I need to do... So, okay, I may as well end this episode here because... Um, I am trying to do the Lost Head, but I can't do any more of the Lost Head until I get into Hatman Mandor. So, let's just say I've completed part one of the Lost Head. Part two I'll do in a future episode. For the next episode, I think... I don't think I'm strong enough for that one yet. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do this getting to Hatman or uh, continue this quest. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.